Having cold hands is a problem that many people struggle with, and when you're gaming with cold hands, you're not playing at your best. Cold hands have been shown to increase reaction time, and of course you don't want that. Let's find out how we can deal with it, so you can play at your best. Always. <laughs> In most cases, cold hands are a natural response of your body to cold or to stress. There can be a more serious reason though, so if you are worried there might be something wrong, I suggest you talk to a doctor. The reason your hands feel cold very often has something to do with the amount of blood that's flowing through your hands. Normally there is a steady stream of blood that flows through your hands, keeping them warm. But if you have cold hands, for some reason there is not enough blood flowing through them. The reason could be stress, a cold room, or just poor circulation in general. If your room is cold, of course you just need to make sure that you're feeling warmer. Turn up the heat, or put on warmer clothes. If the reason is stress or poor circulation though, turning up the heat will not work. We need to increase the blood flow to our hands. Of course, you could try to just not stress, but that's easier said than done. So let's find some other ways to increase the blood flow to our hands. If you improve the circulation in your entire body, the circulation in your hands will also get better. There are a couple of ways to improve the circulation in your body. I remember a few years ago when I still played Paladins, I liked to compete in small community tournaments. Even though the only thing at stake were a couple of in-game items, I still felt a lot of pressure, and thus my hands got very cold. The way I dealt with this was not with a cup of hot tea or rubbing my hands together. I tried it, but it just doesn't really work. Sure, your hands will feel warm while you hold the tea, but after about two minutes your hands are cold again. You could keep warming them between rounds, but that's just not practical. The way I dealt with it was with physical activity. See, when you're gaming, you're not moving your body. This lifestyle is very bad for your circulation, so if you start moving your body, your circulation will improve. It's that simple. Also, your body temperature will go up, so you'll have a lot more heat to distribute to your cold hands. Because of this, the effect of this lasts much longer than heating up your hands with something warm. If I did 2 minutes of push-ups or burpees or whatever before a game, I could finish the game without cold hands. Another benefit of this is that exercise releases some of the stress that you feel, making it easier for you to concentrate and improving your performance in that area as well. In general, a healthy lifestyle will improve your performance. Drinking enough water, eating a balanced diet and exercising enough is a good idea. If you like to play video games, you don't need to be fat and you don't need to be unhealthy. There's a reason why there are entire gyms built into esports houses. A healthy body means a healthy mind and I think we need to remember that. Anyways, a quick google search of cold hands while gaming will give you a list of things you can do to fix this problem. The issue is that these are easy fixes, things like buying infrared heaters to warm up your hands. These things might work, but I think that your cold hands could be a reason for you to move every once in a while. I would love to hear your thoughts and your experience with this in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>